Hi, this video solves the problem uh, when you create a new Angular client app uh, that there comes the error um, here. What is it? Installing uh, error resolve or e resolve, uh, unable to resolve dependencies tree. So this happens if you create a new application uh, in Angular. So what we do now here, I'm here in my demo and I start here my visual code. I'm trusting this. So what I say now is here we go here to terminal, create a new terminal. We say ng ng new and then my app is called client app now it starts running and we say okay no strict and we need routing yes then we need css now it starts so now what we're doing is i uh, this happens here this is the error and what we do now we go to npm and we're updating N npm npm update uh, up to date and npm when you, without anything so you see uh, all the stuff and you see install you may we might uh, go to a previous version and we also have here the npm version npm version and now we are in a uh, this is a beta release so this so what we do now we go to the node file so this is node.js.org and then English there you see okay we have here the node version is uh, npm is version 7 uh, 7.6 and the node version is 15 so 15 is not either not the latest one so either we go back to it uh, and we are deinstalling this and uh, install the recommended for most users uh, stuff or we go to the current uh, latest features uh, version so this happens or happened also because I took the latest version on there so uh, we either have to uh, uninstall npm and uh, so this video shows how to uninstall uh, node.js on your pc so if you have uh, an error like this one the npm version here and you get here uh, e-resolve unable to resolve dependency tree so what i have to do now i have i watched uh, the version npm and node and the node is 15 and this created an error so the official one is 14 and the latest is 16 so there are two ways now to do either i'm downloading it and uh, load it above the other one or i'm deinstalling and the video says okay how to deinstall the uh, node so we go here on our windows 10 uh, on to latest uh, programs let's see here under when i say programs now this is in german program and features and you will see here our node now you see here this is the node js i installed it uh, half a year ago now i will say deinstall either changing or deinstalling you see there's the version 15 so this is the between there I will deinstall it and in the background I will stop my visual code so it should uh, still running so no chase JavaScript runtime automatically close applications uh, and attempt to restart them after setup okay this is the, that's okay ok 
Kids Outside in the Kindergarten. And we will load after this our application. Maybe the latest one. This video shows how to install the latest version of Node.js. So you use Node.js uh, to, uh, to update Node.js to the either to the recommended for most users the uh, stable version or the current version. And uh, this might, if you use the current version, uh, later with latest features, this might sometimes uh, cause an error. So. Uh, when you're developing uh, and so on. So first what you have to do in an update, you first deinstall it. So let's see here I have how to deinstall. You go to Windows, say uh, Node, uh, you go to Features and then in the fe under Features you're deinstalling the current version. That's what we've seen in the, in the previous video. Uh, and now we go to node.js.org front slash English and I will load the current version which is always uh, latest stuff you see version 14 going to 15 so what I would uh, try to do is uh, let's say we go, we jump back okay we take the recommended version Now we are starting it. So this is under one Windows 10. The MSI file, so installing. Welcome to Node.js Setup Wizard. I accept everything absolutely happy with no chairs and a path sometimes you do hear some uh, manipulations in there but that's not necessary take all in default automatically install the necessary tools some npm modules need to be compiled from c c plus plus when installing if you want to be able to install such modules python and visual studio build tools need to be installed yeah okay No, I don't need it. Successfully installed. Now what I do is now on this point is I check if it's uh, if this is okay. So I go here to my demo folder and in here I make a small folder which is called Angular. In there I say okay. I go here to my with code. Open it with code. Yes, I always trust everything. And now I go to terminal, new terminal, and then I would say, uh, let's say, uh, ng new client app, <coughs> always say npm version. That's the best. So we, what we did, we installed 6, uh, 6.14. That's what we, what we have seen. And what we do now, we start uh, ng new client app. No strict with routing CSS and this should run now. I hope so. And that's why uh, we saw how we solved the previous problem. 
And I think uh, that's okay now for most people. Now, uh, how did I solve the problem? The previous one, I deinstalled um, Node.js and then I reinstalled the most uh, the latest version, or this or recommended most for most users version. And after this, I tried to uh, do the ng new again. So I created a check the new my my versions npm and here no node js that's the, the node version and then i said okay new uh ng new client app and now i it ran through without the error 